Jesus said there's two great commandments, love God, love others. And we practice that in doing this. We, we want them to know what it is to be loved. Bethel Christian Academy is a school that has existed for 40 years in Savage, Maryland. We serve preschool through eighth grade students, which means they start with us at three years old and they graduate when they finish eighth grade. Our boys have really thrived at Bethel. We came to be involved with the school about 10 years ago. He was three years old, he started, and we haven't looked back since, we've been so happy. Viewing the curriculum, I saw that there definitely was a huge shift in the, in the level of learning that she was exposed to. Our students perform two grade equivalents higher than they're in on average. I think I'm getting a great education here and I very much enjoy it. The people here are just great. It just makes you feel at home. Maryland's Boost program provides scholarships for lower income families to use at private schools. The Boost scholarship helped a lot for Bethel families because we had students wanting to come in who needed more support than we could give. An organization opposed to the Boost program complained about the handbook at a different Boost school and demanded that the state review the handbooks of all Boost schools. State officials targeted Christian schools by specifically looking for handbooks that included phrases like biblical values, Christian principles, traditional marriage, or even that just included Bible verses. Our handbook included our beliefs about a number of things, including marriage. The state did not like that, and so they removed us from the program. They put Bethel and other Christian schools to a choice either hide your religious beliefs or get kicked out of the program. But when it comes to education and something that can really be life-changing for the kids, I take it as not an attack on me, but an attack on my child. One parent sent us a message about her young son who had been with us and thriving. And when she told him he would not be able to come back to Bethel in the fall, he started to cry because he wanted to be here with his teachers with his friends. That's heartbreaking to us. One of the things that I really appreciated about Bethel's program, even prior to Boost, is the diversity of the staff, the diversity of the students, and the loss of that Boost program affects the diversity of the students. When the state kicked Bethel out of the program, they also harmed its reputation. The news media portrayed us in such a negative light but they were looking at us from the top, not looking at us from my heart. It shattered dreams for a lot, of, a lot of those kids because they really wanted to be here, the kids. We do what we're here to do, and that's to teach, to teach all the principles that they're gonna need to get out here and succeed. A person who's low income should be able to come here and benefit from the curriculum and everything that they have to offer here. Unfortunately, they're not able to do that because they're taking away the Boost program thinking something about us that is clearly untrue. At Bethel Christian Academy, these kids are safe, and the kids love each other, they're like a family. For us to be dismissed, not fair to us, not fair to the kids, not fair to this community. <laughs>